We have this same discussion every time we get off the job. I'm just telling you, you have to look at things from a physical, practical aspect of life, okay? Things that can be proven logically, not based upon what you read in some ancient book. Well, the Bible says, blessed is a person that believes, but you don't see. When you think about it, it's actually a double blessing to believe and have that amount of faith in something that you can't physically see. You do realize that that makes no sense whatsoever, period. That's like telling someone to believe in the Tooth Fairy, or the Easter Bunny, or even Santa Claus. Oh, and believing that this world came together with some kind of Big Bang concept, that's believable? Hey, wait a minute now. I never said I believed in any of that Big Bang Theory stuff. That doesn't make any sense either. I mean, on the one hand, you got some being weaving his hands over some empty space, and all of a sudden people and plants and animals starts popping up. And on the other hand, you got some kind of explosion, and bada bing, bada boom, everything's here. That doesn't make any sense either. Well, I'll tell you something. Believing that a person, a higher being, created everything with a plan is more believable than thinking that an explosion happened and all of a sudden everything came into existence. I mean, when you just think about it, we as humans, from the time we're just children, as we grow, we learn by example, subconsciously. So I mean, we don't just throw things together and all of a sudden it's there. We plan things out. Remember if you're building a house or you're building anything or creating anything, there's a plan behind it. So that, that makes more sense. Yeah, even the point you try to bring up about this intelligent design stuff. Do you realize that every single religion says the exact same thing? That there's some band that made this and made that? And if that's the fact, which one's the right religion? Well, that's the thing. That's exactly what I'm trying to explain to you. It's not about religion. It's about having a relationship with him who is God. That's what it's about. So let me get this straight so I can understand you correctly. You mean to tell me I need to get into a relationship with somebody that I can't see and who potentially doesn't even exist? Do you know how crazy you sound right now? No, 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 my friend. You know what's crazy? You wanna know what's crazy? What's crazy is living in this life without a true kind of guidance. You know what it's like? That's like being in the middle of an ocean in a boat without a sail. That's crazy. True guidance? So you mean that all the licensed professionals out there that are counselors, all the stuff that they're saying doesn't mean Jack? It adds up to nothing? Oh, okay, man. You just need help. That's all you need. No, man. I'm not the one that needs help. You're the one that needs help. I don't need any help. I got all the help that I need. And the Lord God Almighty. Yeah, you mean in the figment of your imagination. Hey, hey, hey. Why are you guys arguing about a, a gift? I mean, when it comes down to it, that's all God gave us. And that's a gift. So you can accept it or not accept it. And that's it.